Potter. I am in the Harry Potter studio tour now with Mama Cappy who's just gone to get us some cakes and we are going to the Magical Mandrake and something event. I can't remember what the other bit is, but it's the Mandrake event and I'm so excited. We're here to see the greenhouse, we're here to see, obviously see the Mandrakes, um, the fountain, the burrow, the new Pruitt Drive, all of those things will be coming up in this vlog for you guys. I'm not going to be doing like a normal vlog where I will show you every single thing. I'm just going to show you the new things because I've shown you most of what is to offer here. I have brought my new bag which is from the Lost Universe. Now the key rings that are on it do not come from the Lost Universe um, and I managed to get this Comic Con weekend. I ordered it offline but it is beautiful and here's Mama Cappy now with the cakes. We are trying what has been offered on offer at the Mandrake event. I will put in some separate videos because they're... Yeah because the, that sun's just gone. So we've got a potted Mandrake. It's caramel and I chocolate. So it's got a caramel and chocolate base. Hope you don't mind me holding it mum. And it's, fine. it's like chocolate. Oh look at this little Mandrake. And then we've also got the monster book of monsters. I know you guys can't see me. You can't see my face instead. And it is a cherry um, a cherry tart with a brownie top. Just look at that. Right, we're going to eat this and we'll let you know what we think. Spoon. Spoon. So are we going to cut it or are we just going to go for so it? So we just go for it. Yeah. Oh, oh, it comes out the pot. I didn't realise it was. Mmm. That's nice. This. Oh, what does this taste like? Um, it's like chocolate. Really finely mushed up biscuit. Yeah, it's like chocolate biscuit. It tastes like penguin. Mm. This tastes like a chocolate penguin. It is so good. What do you um, think, Mum? It's very nice. I'm going to take the mandrake out for a moment. Ah! <laughs> right, should we try cutting into the. Hold on. Oh, yeah, look, I've done it. Mm. That's nice. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. This tastes like, would you say white chocolate that's been like painted? Yeah. Mm. Guys, this is great. It's so good. We're going to eat this and then we'll come back to you for this one. There's something in the bottom. Look. Oh, something gooey is that? Oh, sorry, I've just got that everywhere. There's something, oh, I it's... think it was a caramel thing. Yeah, it's um. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Slightly more um, gooey and sticky. Mm. So we are now trying the Monster Book of Monsters. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're it, talking quite loud because of the music in the background. Yeah. We don't want to get copyrighted. So you'll find out if it got copyrighted if I put random music on and I'm recent going over the top. So this is meant to be a cherry tart and a chocolate brownie. So should we just have a bit? Yes, but well, why don't you... We'll split it. Split it or right. cut, a, cut a chunk off. That looks I hate, I don't like the idea of cutting into this. Oh. <laughs> That's going to go everywhere. There we go. Ooh, Ooh it's nice. got a, a very gooey cherry bottom. Cherry, yeah. Ooh, that looks very interesting. Right, I'm going to try a bit of this. Yeah, I'm going to try that little bit there that looks cherry. Let's have a little taste. That's nice because that's got mm, the dark chocolate's quite bitter, but that cherry just um, brings it brings it alive a bit. I don't like dark chocolate. I have to say it's all right. I don't think it's my favourite. I want to try a bit of this bit. Yeah, the mousse bit with the cherry is much better than the biscuit bit with the cherry, in my opinion. Mm. Sorry for the awkward angles. I'm gonna try a bit of brownie now. That brown is lovely. Right. My turn. <laughs> nice. Very nice. We're gonna eat very this. Very rich. Yeah, it's very rich. We're gonna eat this and catch up, you guys. In and here we are entering the Great Hall again. It is very crowded this time, but at the end there is an awesome surprise. It's new to the tour. There's not normally the troll, which is really cool. So obviously they're doing magical creatures too. Mm. 
I'm really enjoying the fact that there are different magical makes each time we go. So when you're going to platform nine and three quarters, last time they had the Howler, this time we get to make the Monster Book of Monsters. It was actually a lot more difficult than it looked. The sides kept popping out, so when you'd put them in, they'd pop out. They just said, you know, to put a bit of glue, a bit of tape on it, and it would stay in place. Um, but it's so much fun. I really enjoy these new elements that they have. And yes, Kat, um, she said that I could bring you one home. So I brought you one home. As you can see I am now making some TikTok and Reel footage um, and there's some for Kat there too so be sure to check out her Instagram which is Lego Luna and mine is practically Nikki in every way. Um, yeah and we just had a great blast before going to get some lunch. I know I said I wasn't going to vlog too much but I've got something new today. I'm having cheesy chips. Oh my gosh I'm so excited and you can, it, it's obviously just great cheese paint on top but you can see it melting from the heat of the chips. I literally cannot wait. And I can already see the burrow. I'm so excited. Okay, so we've come to our first exhibit bit, whatever you call it. So we've come to our first bit that's not inside the tour. And that is a brand new attraction. And we are at the burrow. Now this is, I think, a third of the size, I think they said, of the burrow they actually used. And oh, I'm just so excited. The burrow is somewhere I've always wanted to go. And now we get to explore it. So let's have a look at the burrow. So we're gonna start from the back. It's really bright, so I do apologise. And just look at all this attention to detail, it's so cool. Hogwarts fountain that is beautiful. We've just taken some pictures. It was so bright, so you can kind of see like my eyes are quite squinty out here. But I'm going to do a big sort of show of everything. But it looks so much better out here since they brought this in. It's just so much calmer, bigger. It just looks so much better. But here is the Hogwarts courtyard fountain. It's really hard um, because it's so bright to kind of get some good footage I'm going to try and get some more on my phone in a minute because I can play around with the settings and as you can obviously see where Mama Cafe is there is the mandrakes um, it, the greenhouse is the word that's where the mandrakes are it's in the greenhouse so let's have a quick look so you can obviously see there's some gargoyles which is so cool and you probably if you're quick can probably take a photo sitting on one of these but it is just superb it's just marvelous and definitely a must see when you come here again apologies it's so bright I'm gonna see if I can edit it on an editing app to try and brighten it up or if I can do anything it's just so bright today and my ND filter is not doing an awful lot for some reason I mean it could be much better when I've done so, although I did just show you that we have the greenhouse here um, there are some new bits within the private drive so we're gonna go do private drive first and then go over there but it's just so much more spacious out here I absolutely love it I just think it looks so much better and the queues for everything are massive today I mean I know it's the school holidays but it's not as full as it normally is on yeah. like a normal day basis but it's still pretty cool
So here we are entering the Dursley house. We're entering Privet Drive. It's so cool because normally you have like a little walkway and you can just kind of peer over the side of the door um, and look into the front room, but you actually get to see quite a lot of the house this time. I'm going to show you a more in-depth look of where Aunt Marge is and what the other characters are doing when we get there. But as you go through, you can see so much better all of the flying Hogwarts letters and you can obviously start to see, see more details in the house like the photo frames you can if you look to the other side see the cupboard under the stairs but unfortunately it's not able to be open but you're going to get to walk through the kitchen in a minute with me so i really do hope you enjoy this little segment i really enjoyed this bit What you couldn't do before was actually go into the garden, but now Mama Kathy's in the background. You can actually go in and look in through like the conservatory and go around it, which is really cool because you could never do that before. You could literally see everything. Pretend to be going in. <laughs> you could literally see Aunt Marge, but it's really hard to get where you're getting into me. Now's the time that everyone's been waiting for for going into the greenhouse, and I'm going to have my ears on in three. Two, one. I have got mine on. They're so cute. And we're gonna go and learn about some mandrakes. It was quite crowded in the greenhouse, which is why I haven't got all of the original audio, just because, you know, people were having fun with their friends. Um, but it was so good. It was You're going to see and hear what the mandrake noise was from the actual greenhouse in a second, so I'll leave you to enjoy that. Um, but there are a couple of videos that I took for a reel that I've made, so that's why they are portraying to the landscape. And that is the end of another Harry Potter Studio Tour Day vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there's probably not going to be many more Harry Potter Studio Tour videos this year. I've got different Harry Potter locations and outings that are planned for the rest of the year, including going to Universal Studios Orlando. So if that is something you're interested in, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure that you comment down below what your favourite part of the new edition was and I hope to speak to you real soon. Bye!